Hi, Tumblr. Uh, it's Larry, a.k.a. Firesign Palatine. Um, this is my second attempt at this video where I ask, uh, asked you to send me questions for me to answer in a video. Um, I don't know what happened to the first one. It didn't encode right or something, but we're going to try this again. Um, I just wanted to do this because I think it's a great way for you to see um, how I am in animation, you know, in, in motion. I think that sometimes the human element gets lost uh, just by reading words on a screen and things that we read blog and stuff. So I think a video is a good way to do that. Um, so I've got some Anon questions and I've got some follower questions. I had a really good uh, group of questions this time. Hopefully, hopefully um, I can uh, answer them uh, pretty, pretty uh, thoroughly and hopefully it'll be entertaining. So let's just jump right in uh, with uh, an Anon question. Um, Anon is asking, how long have you lived in Denver? If you could live anywhere else, where would you move to? Uh, I'm a Colorado native. I grew up in northern Colorado. Uh, I grew up in a small town called Fort Lupton, Colorado. I graduated with 130 people in my class. Um, it was a small podunk town. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I went to Greeley for uh, college. I didn't end up graduating, but I lived up there for quite some time. And then I moved down to Denver here in uh, 2001. Um, I was ready to get the heck out of Dodge, and I couldn't wait to get out. Um, uh, there's been a lot of development up there in Greeley and in northern Colorado. I probably would not live up there because there's very little gay culture. Um, there's very little uh, culture, period. It's getting better up there, but down here in Denver, um, it's a very uh, different scene, and I appreciate it. It's easier for me to get around because I choose not to have a car, um, so there's better public transit down here. And, uh, you know, Denver, I like it. It's a very pretty city. It's a very clean city, and uh, I'm digging it, so it's home for now. Uh, Next question. Uh, stuck in a monochrome world, uh, who has uh, sent me very lovely questions in the past. Uh, a random string of questions coming your way. Favorite book? Uh, that would be American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Uh, it changed my life when I read it. I was really into mythology as a kid, and uh, oh my gosh, it does mythology just right. Um, brings it into a modern setting. It's a very beautifully written book. Neil Gaiman is my literary idol. Um, I really, really wish I could write as well as he is, uh, as he does. He's he's an amazing author. You should definitely check him out and go out and read that book. If nothing else, uh, read the Sandman series, which is a comic series that he wrote, um, and the, it's beautifully illustrated, beautifully written. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. I could go on. Uh, favorite drink, uh, non-alcoholic. My favorite drink is fresh brewed iced tea, unsweetened, please. Um, favorite alcoholic drink. I usually end up drinking beer, but I really do love a really good dirty martini. Um, gin, not vodka at all. Vodka does not belong in martinis, in my opinion. Um, favorite musical. Ooh. Uh, that's a tough one. I don't consider myself a theater queen, but I do enjoy musicals every once in a while. Uh, I really like Pippin. Uh, who doesn't love a good Fosse musical? I, oh, I love them. Um, I, I, Tommy is a really good one. If it's staged right, it can be brilliant. Um, I saw the Book of Mormon last year. That was really good. Uh, Chicago is a really good musical. I liked that a lot. Um, I don't know. Uh, Phantom of the Opera, I like the music from Phantom, but every staging that I've seen has been really, really uh, questionably done, and I, I didn't really care for them, so take that for what it's worth. What, uh, uh, what would my first novel be called? Actually, I have two sitting right on my hard drive right now, uh, waiting to be polished and submitted. My first novel that I completed was named... Um, Utilities Included. It's a gay romance. I love my gay romance. Um, and uh, 
it's it's a cute one. Maybe someday you'll see it on an ebook uh, site. I don't know. Who knows? Would I use a pen name or my real name for writing? Actually, when I did get published in, uh, oh, just a second, in the Bare Bones Anthology, Tales from the Den, Wild and Weird Stories for Bears, when I got published in this anthology, I was published as Larry C. Faulkner. And uh, I have an Amazon buy credit, byline uh a credit on there you can search Larry C. Faulkner and come up with this book um, I'm actually in here this is one of my life triumphs I got paid like 50 bucks for this it bought me groceries for the week but I was a paid author I am a paid author and then it felt really good um, hopefully I can make that magic happen again um, favorite video game I'm really into Pokemon <laughs> I love Pokemon um, the entire series Oh my gosh. Uh, do I prefer sweet talk or dirty talk? Ooh, both. I like to be romanced and then fucked like a whore. <laughs> um, at both have its place. Both, both of them, um, you know, there's a time and place for everything. And sometimes you want it romantic and sometimes you want it dirty. Uh, favorite sex position? Uh, I love to be fucked on all fours. <laughs> I, I love it. Um, I don't like 69. I can't concentrate in 69. There's too much going on there and I can't do it. Um, naughtiest thing I have done sexually. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can talk about it. Uh, it involved... A little bit of degradation, which I'm not exactly comfortable with. It pushed my limits. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, and finally, five things I love about myself. Uh, I have trouble with the self-love sometimes, as uh, people who know me are well aware. Um, I love the fact that I'm creative. I'm, I have a very creative mind. Um, I love I love my eyes. I think they're very unique and very pretty. Uh, I love the fact that I have a full head of hair at 37 years of age. That's really cool. Um, I love my good heart. I, I, you know, I can be catty and uh, snippy with the with the best of them, but I, under it all, I do have a really good heart. And. Uh, I love the fact that I'm smart. Yeah. All right, moving on. Um, Anonymous as, asks, you suddenly have $5,000 in two weeks to travel with. Where do you go? What are you doing there? Um, off the top of my head, I would love to tour Canada. I would love to uh, go to Iceland. Um, I would love to go to Britain, tour the British countryside, tour Ireland and Scotland. Um, I kind of want to go to Greece, but I've heard Athens is really filthy. Maybe Crete. Um, I want to, I want to see ruins. I, I'm really into Greek myth and, uh, ruins are, are, are always a big plus for me. So that's what I want to do. Um, Sumo Kumo, hi. I like you a lot. Um, I just got some simple ones. What good thing happened this summer? Um, a couple good things did happen this summer. Um, the summer was kind of hard because my father passed away in June. That was, uh, kind of devastating. Um, but, uh, but the next month in July, I went to uh, the Bigger Vegas event in Las Vegas, put on by Bigger City. It was one of the best events slash runs that I've been to. Um, very good group, very well run. Um, the organizers of that run were amazing. Um, I met some really good friends, really good people. Um, the nightly pool parties were amazing. 
Yeah, they were so fun. Yeah, I had so much fun there. So that was probably the highlight. Also, a couple other highlights, uh, spending the weekend with my friend uh, Seth, who is also known as And Then Came Then uh, on here. And um, he's a really good kid, guy. Sorry, Seth. Uh, I, 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 I like Seth a lot. He's, he's uh, good people. I can't uh, endorse him enough. Oh, he's my next question. Uh, so, and then came then, asks a few questions. You have to change your first or last name. Which do you change and why? I want to change Larry. Larry is on my birth certificate. I've always thought it was kind of D-Classe. I've always thought that it, uh, that it was more of a nickname. Um, I don't really care for Larry. I would love to change it to Lawrence. Um, however, my godfather slash uncle, God rest his soul, was named Larry, so I'm kind of named after him. Uh, so I dare not change my name to keep peace in the family. Um, I would probably go by Kurt or Curtis. Uh, Curtis is my middle name. Um, I would probably go by Kurt if I wasn't so well known as Larry already. Um, and anyway, Kurt is my alternate persona, and you gotta have one of those, right? I'll tell you about him sometime. Uh, you can instantly acquire any physical item regardless of worth, but only one. For example, no set of priceless china, you could have one teacup. What do you get? Oh, um... You know, I really had trouble with this question when I was filming it the first time, and I still don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't. I'm not a things person. Probably a car. I would like a really nice, dependable car that never broke down and uh, that used the cheapest fuel possible. I mean, I know I've given up my car, but, you know, it would be useful. Um... Oh, you acquire the ability to use two charms from Harry Potter, no wand required, which, oh, uh, I can't even remember what I said the first time, but uh, off the top of my head, um, when God gave me the was... <laughs> um, I love that one. And then um, the one where you tra teleport, transport, uh, apparate. Uh, I, yeah, I think that's what it's called, apparate. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to do that. Um, and then if I could enter any fictional, fictional universe, which one? Um, I like the idea of superheroes a lot. I want to be a superhero secretly, but I also want to pilot a giant Japanese combining super robot. So probably one of those. I want to be a Power Ranger, kind of. Uh, no, I just want to be a Mega. Megas XLR. I want to be Coop from Megas XLR. Yeah, hell yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, that's my answer. Next, uh, the Bearded Mystery. Chris, hello, Chris. Uh, we love Chris. For my video, what is my favorite drink? I kind of I kind of um, answered that. Uh, so I'm going to do my favorite shot, uh, which is Jägermeister. I, I know it's so... so a uh, young person, but... So blackout drunk, that's what it is. Uh, Lord, but I love it. Um, I also like Tawaka. Tawaka's good. Uh, if money, time off were no objects, where would I go and visit first? If money and time off were no object, rather than just having limited time and $5,000, I want to go to Australia. And um, the reason why it's so important that it would be unlimited money available would be because... Um, I, I need to fly there first class because I need the leg room because I'm like bigger than and the seats are like less than, you know, so I need room to stretch out for an 18 hour flight. Okay. Um, probably Japan too. I want to visit Japan, but, um, you know, nothing over there is Larry sized because I'm this size and the Japanese people are this size. So I don't know. Those are just the two off the top of my head. Big Boy 2K6 sent me two questions. Uh, first, what's a typical night for you? Any nighttime rituals? Well, if it's a weeknight, 
I come home and I just sack out. I watch, uh, I catch up on YouTube videos. Um, I watch TV on Hulu Plus. Um, catch up on uh, WW wrestling and anime and YouTube videos, cooking videos and drag queen videos. Um, and then I wind down, make coffee for the morning, take my contacts out, my eyes out, and then um, jack off. It helps me sleep. Kind of a perv. Um, and then the second question, what would make the perfect date night for you? Um, my dream date <laughs> would be with someone very handsome and very sweet. I, I'm shallow. I need a, a guy that I'm really attracted to. Um, and it would be very low key. We would do coffee. We would do a nice quiet dinner. There would be flowers. He would definitely buy me flowers. Roses, please, because I've never had a, a guy buy me flowers. Um, and it would not be the first date. It would be like the fourth or fifth date where I've gotten to know him enough and I've gotten to like him enough where I knew that this guy was going to stick around for a while. That's a... Uh, that would be the perfect date. Oh, and then we'd go home and stoink real fucking hard, too. Like, he would just right into the fucking mattress, right? <sighs> he would be like this big, too. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, a relatively new follower of mine. Shiny Notes for Nobody. I love that Tumblr name. That's awesome. <laughs> he says, why hello there? Why hello there? Um, may seem out of nowhere, but what's your favorite animated series? I am a big fan of American Dad. I, uh, enjoy Bob's Burgers. Um, Daria, I've been catching up on Daria on a Hulu Plus. I really like Daria. It's, it's a generational thing. It's so 90s, but oh my god, it's so good. Um, I like anime too. Uh, I've been watching the, the remastered... Sailor Moon original series. It's really well done. Uh, and I'm watching the new Sailor Moon series. It's really well done. Um, for that, the last anime series I watched was Kill a Kill, which blew my mind. It's like fully cooly kind of just like, bro. Um, and other animated series. Um, I'm a really big fan of an adult swim series. From a few years back called C Lab 2021. It's pretty funny. I own um I think I'm only missing one series. I think I'm only missing the last uh season on DVD. And oh, I guess this is my last question. Um Anonymous. I would love to see a pick of an outfit that makes you feel sexy if you have one. Can you make that happen? If not sexy, then something you think you would look really good in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm not really a clothes person. I wish I was. Um, I wear polos and khakis to work. Um, I wear uh, t-shirts most of the other time. Um, shorts, jeans. Uh, I will try to make something happen this weekend as far as pictures go. Um, but... I don't know. That's a... Clothing. The thing with that is that big guy clothing needs to go through like a renaissance because you cannot find shit that fits right, right off the rack. Um, you cannot find uh, reasonably priced shit that uh, is sold. Uh, I think the best thing going on right now is JCPenney uh, has the foundry line which they bought the Foundry Big and Tall company. And they had some really good stuff for a really reasonable price. They're, that shit is always on sale. And, and it looks really decent. Their polos are really well structured and they wear really well. Um, they have these camp shirts that are really cool looking. They occasionally have some t-shirts. Um, nothing really more fancy than that, but I, I'm kind of a casual person. Um, I don't know. But, uh, we'll see. Um, that's all my questions. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I like the idea of doing this a little more. Um, I think this is something that we should all be doing, giving people uh, glimpses into our, um, our life as far as how we talk, how we act, uh, how we um, move. You know, it's so easy to think of everybody as words on a screen. Um, I get in that trap a lot. Uh, but watching someone and looking at someone reminds me that, hey, behind those words on a screen is a person. And um, I think by me doing that, that's showing you that I'm a real person here too. And uh, with thoughts and feelings, and I'm not just uh, naked selfies and... <laughs> and uh, um, animated GIF reblogs, you know? I'm actually a real person with real thoughts and feelings and uh, life. So I encourage everybody to do this too. All right, um, signing off. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye, Tumblr.